Hi, Brian. My name's Erin Reed, and I'm a Canadian, actually living in Australia. But uh, I have a almost two and a half year old deaf cattle Kelpie Terry the Cross, who is uh, definitely high prey drive, anxious, and uh, will become more defense than flighty. And I can't tell you how much your work has really um, helped us establish a relationship, uh, yourself and um, your Q and A with uh, with Ridge. Um, we are out uh, we're about almost two hours in to a hike, and uh, Lindsay here is comfortably in pack. She has the e-technology e-collar on. We're set at six. We've done some recall just so that she is aware that it's there. And now it's just emergency only. And um, she's had a chance to uh, fully work through uh, prey drive. When we first get here, all the smells still on the long line until uh, she's paying a bit more attention, ready to go into pack. I let her um, go ahead and sniff a bit more, or she's not so distracted to uh, test out the e collar, be fair, let her know that uh, find the one that's appropriate to get her attention, and then. Uh, we did a structured, structured run where she's in pack, falls along, and then she's allowed to go back into prey and uh, keep me in her sights, walk on some logs, etc., and then back into uh, to prey drive. So I just wanted to send you this video of gratitude, um, that it's just really hard to find, um, you know, she's a dog first, but the, uh, the deficit of the deafness definitely plays in, you know, wind, a uh, different temperature, uh, obviously all the smells, it was first, right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to just send off this video of gratitude from across the world that looking at, you know, dogs is sure sentient beings with their own personalities, but um, I just find tapping into and seeing what drive and mindset Lindsay is in to give her the success so that we can both enjoy some time out in nature, which we do on the regular, creating relevance and enjoyment of life. Say thanks. Lindsay says thank you. Thanks, Brian.